Assalamu alaikum dear student. Welcome to Iman's online class. Good morning everyone. So hopefully you are fine in this situation. So I'm with you in this class. This is Ibrahim Khalil Layman, your assistant teacher in English, Halishor Gentleman Public School and College. And today we are discuss our ICD subject. So before studying, you have some questions. Try to guess all these questions. Can you guess what these are? Dear student, tell me the answer of the first picture. What is it? It's very easy. We know that it's a Windows. That means, what is Windows? So we know very easy that Windows is a kind of software. So now let's come to the second one. What is it? It is also a operating system that means Windows 10. It's also a software. And the another one that is Android. There is also a kind of software using mostly using mobile phone. And what is it? We know it's Apple. That means Apple brand. So in short we can say there is Mac. So, dear student, what's the similarities among these four pictures? The similarities is that these all are the software. So, student, that's why today our topic is software. And application software and some more machinery of ICT. So that means today we will discuss about lesson 7, lesson 8, and lesson 9. So, dear student, after this lesson, you will be able to describe how a computer works. You will be able to describe the instruments used in ICT. You'll be able to explain the works performed by different instruments using ICT. You'll be able to explain hardware and software. So let's come to the our today's lesson. The first one, lesson seven, software. So here goes uh, your page 34, lesson seven software let's begin with the software input output memory and processor all these are hardwares so what are the hardwares hardwares are input output memory and processor that means input device output device memory and processor what we have got earlier all these are hardware so dear student i think it's better if you make underline these sentences. So now these hardwares become active and meaningful in the computer by the help of software. When the software will be there, so these hardware will be effective. We shall make a brief discussion about this in this lesson. Generally, softwares of a computer can be divided in two types. So, how I many dear students, there are many more questions which will be very important for you. So, it's better if you write or underline, I mean, on your book, the page 34. It will be helpful for you to get the answer very easily. And side by side, I will discuss about the question also, I mean, going through the reading. So, here another question. Software of a computer can be divided in two types. So, how many softwares are there? So, one type has already been discussed. We have already mentioned that we can write, draw a picture, listen to song, 
roam in internet and do many such works and applications by the help of a computer. So this type of software is called application software. So one, I mean, what is application software? Or what is application software? What is the definition of application software? So in that answer, we have to write one type. Um, we have to write, we can write, draw picture, listen to song, roam in internet and do many such works. And applications by the help of computer is called application software. So, but these application software cannot be used directly in a computer. So, application software can't be used, I mean, directly in a computer. If we want to use this application software, we need to keep a computer active by the help of another type of software. So, that means we have to activate the software so that we can use application software. So the name of this software is operating system software. So uh, tell one name of application software. So the name of application software is operating system software. In short, op operating system. More briefly I'll speak. More briefly speaking OS, that means operating system. So here goes a question, what is operating system or what does it mean OS? So the OS means operating system. The moment a computer is made by switching, the operating system starts working immediately. That means when we start our computer by switching power button, the operating system starts working immediately. It examines all hardware of the computer links up one hardware with another with other and activates the input and output systems it also manage how information is to be stored in the computer so what are the task of operating system the task of operating system the first one examines all hardware of the computer second one links up one hardware with other and activate third one activates the input and output system and these and the, the fourth one to be stored in the computer that means information how information is to be stored in the computer so operating system activates the computer and makes it ready for work operating system prepares many work for users in the computer so that application software can use those Supercomputers have their own operating system. So who has op own their own operating system? That means supercomputers have their own operating system. The name of operating system of our familiar PC, that means personal computer, uh, is Windows, Mac, OS, Unix, etc. So what are these? That means uh, name some of the operating system, Windows, Mac, OS, that means operating system, Unix, etc. We have to buy both the operating system and hardware of a computer with money. That means we have to buy the operating system by, by the money or with the money. And these are very costly. So many computer scientists of the world have jointly prepared one type of open source operating system which is free of cost. We should not think that they are available free of cost. They are not good for work. So those are very good operating system. The name of such type of operating system is Linux, which is a very, pop very popular operating system in the world. So dear student, which operating system will be free? The Linux operating system will be free. Okay, let's come to the next page. So, the lesson 8, application software. So now, we will know more about, le I mean, application software. So here begins, those who have studied the previous chapters already have known about the application software is meant. So from the last, last chapter, last lesson, we come to know about the application software. 
we already mentioned that what can be done by a computer absolutely depends on our creativity. Finding a task to do, we can develop an application software for that task. There are two types of application software, package software and the one customized software. So dear children, write down the two types of application software. That means how many application softwares are there? So there are two types. One is package software and another one is customized software. Many people separately prepare application software for the work which most of the people need to do. As for example, application software for writing, which is called Word Processor. So Word Processor is an application software. Many interesting Word Processor have been pre prepared as all people want to use them. Just like this, separate softwares have been prepared for drawing pictures, listening music, watching videos playing different types of computer games and for roaming the internet so that means for individual each and individual task the software application software is different the name of these types of software is packaged software so uh, what is package software we know very easily and where to use the package software for what for drawing picture for listening music for watching videos for playing different types of computer games we have roaming in the internet so we use package software as many companies produce TV car and camera and sell them in the market and thus earn money just like this many companies develop package software and sell it to people then earn money so by selling this software uh, people can earn much money you will be astonished to hear that Many of the richest men of the world become rich by selling package software. So that means listening to music, there will be a software. Drawing picture, there will be a software. So by selling this software, most of the people or richest men of the world have become rich by selling this. We have just told that there is an application software for all types of work. Then a question comes, is there software for preparing software? <laughs> So there's a funny question that means, I mean, for preparing a software, is there any, any other software? Surely there is. We have told before, you before that when you will be a bit older and learn how to do programming, you'll be able to prepare software for making another software. Thus, you will be able to prepare special softwares of different types. So dear student, that means for making software, another software will be needed. When a special software is prepared for doing a particular work, it's called customized software. So that is called customized software. So here goes a question, another question. What is customized software? So we must we must say, when a special software is prepared for doing particular work, it's called customized software. So different package software being prepared as the as the great computer scientists of the world have prepared different operating system free of cost for the user you will get this package software almost free of cost for you scientists all over the world are trying to reach all types of software to all people almost free of cost that means i mean without any money the software will be given when you will be older you may also join in this effort the view of monitor at the time of using different types of application software. So dear student, these are the, I mean, software. So here goes two pictures. The first one is, I mean, what processor that is a software, another application software. Another one, I mean, drawing picture, there is a software that is I mean package software so dear students that's all about application software now come to another lesson lesson 9 some more machinery of information and communication technology so here goes the passage lesson 9 some more machinery of information and communication technology in our attempt to discuss the instruments used in information and communication technology, we have discussed the hardware and the software, which are the most important parts of this technology. Now we are going to discuss some other instruments used in 
the information technology so actually there we have there we we are discussing uh, some some parts of the computer which are mostly used which are very important so the first one land phone and mobile phone so the student we know very easily what is land phone and uh, mobile phone right so once upon a time electric wires was using the function of talking over telephone that means uh, earlier we saw uh, in telephone there is a wire our conversation commu uh, commuted as electric signal through the wire as the signals had to be sent through electric wire so the telephone always had to be connected with the wire these phones are called land phones so dear student what is land phone so the answer is very easy there i mean signals had to be sent through electric wire the people always had to be connected with the wire these phones are called land phones so come to another passage due to the advan advancement of technology we now can send wireless signals if we desire we can move here and there keeping this phone in our pocket as this phone has no connection with the wear that's why we call this phone mobile phone that means without wear what we use that is called mobile phone the peak the price of this phone has come down so even the ordinary people of the country can use this phone so it is not only that the price of mobile phone has come down mobile right mobile phone is gradually becoming a smartphone so nowadays it is called smartphone we can take picture listen to song listen radio programs can move with gps can play game even use internet by this mobile phone so what are the what are the activities of mobile phone so we can write i mean we can take picture by mobile phone listening to songs listen i mean listen ready programs and can move with gps can play game right even use internet i mean by the mobile phone so we can imagine that this mobile phone is future in the future will be able to perform the functions of computer so that means we, in future mobile phone will work like a computer so here is a caption mobile phone at present mobile phone is used not only in talking it is used in innumerable works it is thought that this mobile phone will perform all functions of a computer within a short time so dear sim there what was the picture of it there is a modem modem connects the computer with the telephone so now let's come with the modem modem once telephone line or telephone network was used only for sending voice now telephone line or telephone network is also used for sending data and information of a computer so why telephone line is used for sending data and information of a computer the name of the instrument that connects telephone network with the computer is modem so what what's the activity of modem modem connects between telephone and network and computer so dear students now come to the another one satellite we sometimes use satellite for sending information from one surface to other surface of the world so when we send data or information i mean telephone network to computer is called modem and when we use or send information from one surface to another surface is called satellite so antenna looking antenna looking towards the space sends the information data to the satellite so satellite receives the signal and sends to each another direction so what does satellite works so satellite works i mean receives the signal and sends it to another direction ultimate numbers of tv channels are distributed in the whole world by this process so this way the tv channels are distributed so another task of this i mean satellite is to distribute the tv channels the whole, in whole world so dear children let's come to the last one that is optical fiber is also very important 
for you there was a time when any information was sent anywhere in the world was as electric signal through the wear or as well as signals without wear now a new technology has come up throughout the world whole world for sending information and data that is optical fiber technology so what's the new technology for sending data the technology name is optical fiber technology <clears throat> actually optical fiber is the transparent fiber of the glass so what does it look like it actually transparent fiber of the glass it is as thin as here and information and data transmitted through this in the in the form of light signal so the, through the light signal it transmitted sends information and data laser light is used for light signal so what type of light is used laser light you will be astonished to hear that the light cannot much inform light cannot be seen by our eyes so this light definitely it's a surprising that we cannot see the light that means laser light what i mean what which used in the optical fiber it is possible to send as much information by an optical fiber which is equal to that of one crore telephone lines oh my god there is one crore telephone line what sends i mean optical fiber does more than that so optical fiber is now used throughout the world as a means of communication so dear cn definitely optical fiber has much strength to send data and information i mean more than the um, i mean normal fiber okay uh, that's all for the time being and for the lesson 7 8 and 9 dear student hopefully you have understood the lesson and you will go through the lesson again and again and underline the very important lines so that you can uh, you can <clears throat> give all the answer very easily now let's uh, exercise for you so here 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 gi given here has given exercise for you there is a sample question you must do all the answer i mean there are five answer with a word uh, with a steam and another exercise there so uh, in total eight eight questions will be there with a steam so dear student that's exercise for you you must do the exercise at all and if there is a problem so please knock me okay um, by the comment box if there is a comment box you must write down wh what you where you are confused or if you don't understand anything so write in the comment box or feel free to ask anything by writing on the comment box dear student let's come to the homework your homework is write down the first one what is software how many kinds of software are there number two what are the uses of application software number three what are the tasks or uses of optical fiber so as we have gone through the three lessons definitely we know the answer of this very easily the answer of these uses of optical fiber and application software dear student i mean that's all for the timing thank you very much for listening the class lecture patience with patience thank you very much